do you all know how to store your rice long term? That seems to be the biggest question on my channel. Seems to be the biggest videos that I have on my channel also. And there are a lot of questions on a lot of different things. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you in detail exactly how to store your rice long term. pounds of rice we're going to be putting some of this into our jars we're going to use the large mouth attachment that goes with the vacuum sealer and we're going to seal those up and we're going to do them a couple different ways we're also going to use the bags and seal some up in the bags vacuum seal those and then we also have some marla bags and i'm going to show you how i do that myself without buying the Marlar bag sealer. Now one quick thing. There is a lot of questions out there on storing rice. And I'm hoping that this video is going to answer a lot of your questions. So on that note, let's get going. Okay, so we're gonna start off using the vacuum sealer to do some vacuum sealing bags and to vacuum seal some jars. Now, with the one exception, we're gonna do a little experiment because people have asked. So, I have auction absorbers here, all right? You buy these right online, you get them on Amazon, okay? They're different prices, different sizes, and everything else, okay? So, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see, but that's pink, there's a little thing right inside there and that tells you they're still good if it wasn't good it looked like this one here that's blue all right so we're going to take one of these and we're just going to put rice in it we're going to throw in an oxygen absorber put the top on screw it down and see what happens <clears throat> secondly we're going to put some bay leaves in with these all right now bay leaves have been known um by some studies to deter the bugs. Now the rice has been run through the frozen process, which I take and I put the rice in the freezer for 24 hours. I pull it out for 24 hours. I put it back in for 24 hours. Then I pull it out and let it become room temperature before I package it in any way, shape or form. It has to be room temperature and dry. So let's get set up and let's get going okay so we filled up our jars all right with the rice looks like it was about half of a 10 pound bag was four large jars all right now what we're going to do is we're going to put a bay leaf in each jar now you got to remember you don't eat the bay leaf this is just to help to deter with the bugs for everybody out there that is um, worried about getting the bugs in your stored rice, okay? So the next thing is, you wanna make sure that you have an empty small jar or a large jar that you can put your oxygen absorbers in once you open this package, because once you open this package, you gotta get moving, okay? <clears throat> so let me get that ready. because I'm gonna do one um, with just an oxygen absorber, no vacuum pack, put the lid on it and we'll see what happens. Then I'm gonna put another one in here and vacuum seal it. We'll see what happens there and then the other two are gonna be just vacuum sealed. So here we go. <clears throat> so once you get these bad boys open, if you notice, they're, if, they're, if they're good, they're real flimsy and everything else. And when they are not good, they are as hard as a rock that you went outside and you picked up. So we're going to put one. We'll do it in this one here because that one's not as full. We're going to put one in there and one in here. Now the rest of them, 
with the little thing, so we know that you're still good, we're going to put in this jar and put the lid back on for right now. You'll hear that pop in just a second. So, one thing I did not cover is the fact that when you're doing your jars and stuff, this is going to be the first one we do. When you do your jars and stuff, you want to make sure that you clean them. Now, on my dishwasher, I do have the sanitize feature. All right, maybe you don't have that. So you can take and boil your jars and your lids in hot water on the stove. Uh, some people put them in the oven and heat them up and, and sanitize them that way, but you still have to do the lids and stuff on the stove in a pot of water. All right, so we put that on there. We've got the oxygen absorber inside with the piece of um, bay leaf. Now, we take our little attachment here, pull this out, detach this, because this is for bags and stuff. It has a lot of cool features. And I've done a video on my uh, vacuum sealer here. So, you take this, you push it down over, you hit the accessory button, and when it does that, it's done. I always pull the top off because it releases the pressure so that you can pull this off. As you can see, it's sealed. It's pushed down. We'll put that in there like that. And our rice is sealed and ready to go. Now, does everybody get what we did? We put oxygen absorber in here. We have an oxygen absorber in here, we vacuum pack. So, stay tuned, we're gonna see what happens. Okay, as you can see, we just finished doing our last one. Pull those right off. Screw it on, you don't have to really crank it right on there or whatever else. Just put it down so it's snug, nice and tight. So, so far, what we have done, we've done jars, okay? We have, which this lid did pop. All that has in it, I didn't vacuum pack it, I just put in just the oxygen absorber. We have oxygen absorber vacuum packed. There's bay leaves in all these to help deter from the bugs. So, that covers the jar portion. Now, let's go to the bag portion. Okay, okay so when you're using your vacuum sealer, all right, and you want to use your bags, okay, <clears throat> you get to decide on how big of a bag you want to do. It doesn't matter. You can do uh, two cups, four cups. You can make the bag as big as you want to make it, and you can put as much rice in there as need be. Now, it's all in what is good for you and your family. Now, I'm going to do three cup bags. That works out just about right for me. You pull your bag out. You turn this little thing down here. You see the little red light comes on. says it's sealing. You can go ahead at that point. You can open this up. And then you can sit here and you can do your bags. Okay? Now, I'm going to make up some bags and everything else. And then we'll get to sealing. I'll be right back. Hey, welcome back. So, we got the bags all set up. <clears throat> and the rest of that 10-pound bag, I was able to get a little over three cups in each one of these. I got three bags of those. And then, another question that I have been asked, can you put an oxygen absorber in there? Well, I never really do. Because I'm going to vacuum pack and everything else. But today, we're going to put one in there in one of the lucky bags. Now this did pop. <clears throat> we're going to throw one in 
one of those bags just to see what happens. Maybe it'll help preserve it or anything else. And I'll know which bag it is because it's the only bag that's got one in it. So when you vacuum pack it, all right, you have your vacuum pack. This is dry, so you just leave it on the dry setting. You just take this, slide it right up inside the, the thing right there. Just make sure it's nice and straight. Push. I like to hold it out a little like this. There you go, folks. It's very simple. Now, like I did say, you can make these bags as big as you would like. If you want to put five pounds of rice in one of these, you just roll it out big enough so you can get those rice in there. There you go. She's sealed, solid as a rock. This has the oxygen absorber and the bay leaf in it. So I'm gonna vacuum up these last two here and I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, we're back. And the last pack is finishing up right now from the vacuum sealer. There she be. So now you have to do is get yourself a, a marker. You can write right on here. Right, make sure you write it on the clear side, not the bumpy side. All right. And you can write on there. You can write the date. You can write how much the quantity is. You can do the same thing on top of all your cans. Okay. Now, to recap here. We've used the vacuum sealer, which I'll put a description in below, okay? I bought mine at Walmart. Now, when I bought mine, like I did say, when I did a video on my, my vacuum sealer, I did get a, it was like a Christmas type package, you know? So you got the attachment for the jars and everything else was all in the box. All right, uh, right now, I haven't seen one of those yet, so if you bought the food saver, you'd have to buy the attachment, but they're really not that much. And you can buy the uh, bags and stuff right online. They, they don't cost that much either. All right, <clears throat> so your vacuum sealer, you know, is a great tool to utilize when you are doing your rice. Um, so to recap, we've got our rice in the jars that we did, that we sealed up that's good to go now, and the rice in the bags that are all sealed up and good to go. Now you can do these in all different you know shapes, sizes, however you wanna do it. If you want big ones, you make big ones. If you want small ones, make small ones, you know? But you know, in an emergency situation or in a grid down type situation, if that is what you're worried about or concerned with, you know, you may wanna take and do some that are like a one, two cup bag because that would be something very good to barter with. Now remember that. That's only if you're really concerned about, you know, the end of the world, the shit hitting the fan and everything else. If you're more concerned, oh, the lid popped again. This means she's sealing. Um, if you're more concerned with just having um, food, your rice that has been vacuum packed or stored and it's going to be good for years to come. Here you go. You're good to go. And it's all based on the size of your family. Now, we're going to move on from the vacuum sealing part of this to the Mylar bags. So don't you all go anywhere. Because there's still more to come. And you may want to see this. Because I don't use a vacuum sealer. I have my own special way of doing things the survival preparedness for beginners way. Okay, so we're back for the final bag filling, I guess you could say. Okay, so we've covered the rice and doing it with the vacuum sealer, okay? Now we're gonna do it with the Mylar bags, with the oxygen absorbers, and we'll throw in some bay leaves too, just to be on the safe side, all right? Now, as you can see, I do not have on this table a vacuum sealer, which you can buy at Amazon. Um, they're gonna run you anywhere from, uh, a decent one's gonna run you about 60 bucks and up. So, everybody may have to trust the old iron at the house, all right? You get an iron, a piece of two by four, you can make your own like I did here. 
with some scrap wood. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and take this 10 pounds and we're going to split it into five pound segments and put it into these two Marlar bags. And then we will throw in the oxygen absorbers. We'll throw in some bay leaves and we will seal this with the iron. So let me get all this stuff set up. I need to get the iron hot and we'll be ready to go. And I'll show you how to do this. Don't go anywhere, people. Don't you click away because you're going to miss the best thing. Okay, we separated the 10 pounds of rice into two one gallon Mylar bags. The iron is just about ready, so we're going to go ahead and get going here. So we're going to throw some bay leaves in here. And like I said before, it is a deterrent for bugs. All right, we'll do that one. Open this up. Now in a bag this size with this much rice, I throw three in. All right, I like to be on the safe side. Calls for two if you follow the directions. Um, but these are <clears throat> 100, so that's that'll be a total of 300 cc's that you're putting in here. I like to put them around. Now, the trick is, is when you're going, getting ready to seal these. Now, it doesn't matter if you have a sealer or if you're going to do it this way with the iron. You want to make sure that you get no product in where you're going to be sealing. So I found if you fold it this way, lay it down, and then scoot it back a little to where it's going to just come right across just like this. And then you have to slide it back so that you're even on the two by four all right there's no creases no nothing you take your hot iron and you put it on your hottest setting okay and you let it get hot and once you do that you hold it i count to five four five and you hold it again now what i do to make sure you don't have to do this because as you can see it looks like it went through all the way I just like to be on the safe side and so I flip it over be careful because that is very hot all right and just to give it a, a little couple seconds and the bag is done There. Let me grab the other bag. We'll do the same exact thing. There's only a few bay leaves left. We'll just dump them all in. That's done. We got three of these left. Put those bad boys right in. Lay it down, fold it up, lay it down, move your board, get it nice, where it's nice and even, try to make sure there's no crease and no product in the crease, remember that, that's very important. Hold it down, count to five, one, two, three, four, five, move over, put it down, count to five, one, two, four, five, pick it up. Turn it, lay it back down, and just a couple quick seconds. One, two, one, two. Always make sure that you turn your iron off once you have completed what you're doing, and if you want to, make sure that you unplug it. This way here, you do not get a fire if you have to walk away or anything else. 
most of the new irons like this one here if you don't touch it or don't do anything to it it will shut off automatically um, so you don't have to worry about that so we took both these bags here's a total of 10 pounds of rice three oxygen absorbers bay leaves and we got those in there we've got our vacuum sealed bag here with three cups in each one and the four large quart large mouth jars one of them was vacuum sealed one wasn't and <clears throat> this is the one i didn't vacuum seal and as you can see the top has already pushed in so they're all done they're all vacuum sealed and this is a way that you can store rice for you and your family in case of an emergency in case of a hurricane a grid down situation however you want to look at it this way here you are covered and you have food for you and your family to eat and you can make so many things with rice it is just unbelievable you can add anything to rice and make a really good meal in a time of need so this is survival preparedness for beginners I hope that this did answer a lot of questions and show you exactly how we do with doing the jars, doing the vacuum sealing. We did it a couple different ways, you know, we put an oxygen absorber in one and then the others we didn't and then in the rice with the Mylar bags and how we seal it with a piece of wood, two by four, whatever else, and an iron to try to save you money as the beginner. because. Even though you're beginning, this is all very easy to do. So in the description below, I'm going to put my vacuum sealer. I'll put my, some Mylar bags. Um, jars you can get just about anywhere, but if you want, I'll throw some jars on there. And where I get my vacuum sealing bags. So that'll all be in the description below. Until next time, this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And I'll catch you all on the flip side.